So we've got Teddy over here. And then we've just set up. Zoom and walk right back. It's a big van. So this is our camper van. Got the awning out, so it's like got a tent attached to it for extra space. Amelia, you say hello. <laughs> I'll show you where the dogs go first of all. So this is the back. So we sleep above up there. And this is the garage and I can actually fit three motorbikes in um because Shane's a motocrosser uh, enduro rider and um we actually have it set up where he's got the bike in there and then dogs go in here as well and this is where the dogs sleep at night it's got a light and everything in here uh we've got a water bowl down and this is where they will sleep and then we sleep above them And then and this is the camper van. I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit before I show you inside. But we've got our own toilet, shower, and um, we've got everything in here. So I'll give you a bit of a tour. So this is inside now. I've tidied up a little bit. So you've got all the blinds come down. We've got two skylights, one up here and one in the bed, which we've shut. Um, Obviously, drivers and main seats. Um, these swivel round as well to become seats in here, so you can turn them around. I'll be honest, I don't actually know how to turn them around. Shane does that, um, and I'd need to move Mia's travel crib to do that. Um, but yes, this is the inside. This is one bed. This is a kid's bed. It comes all the way out, so when the door is closed, it would be all the way over. Um, we don't use that at the moment. Ella's used it a couple of times when she's come camping. She's our little sister. But Mia's crib will go just here when it's out. It fits in this little box. Um, then, got some storage up here, which is usually filled with her toys and bits. Um, and then there's two seat belts here, so you can have two seats here. Yeah. Um, so you can have two seats here where you can sit. And then this is the main area. So we've got kitchenette on the side. Where we sleep is above the, where the dogs are. Um, and then just in here, I'll show you, is our toilet and shower. Um, so yeah, very exciting toilet. And we've got a pull-down sink, which you can just twist around. Um, and the shower's just there as well. It just folds up and away. And then kitchenette. Just move the mat so it's not in the way. So we have sink, hob, we have a fridge right here, quite a deep fridge as well. It goes right back in a freezer. An oven in here. I've got master, there we go, how to close. Um, cutlery drawer here, and then these are all just storage. Um, and then also up here, we've got storage. So yes, that's the little kitchenette. Although I'll be honest, with having uh, both our camper vans previously, I've had a kitchenette, um, but I prefer to cook outside because you've got this kind of like wall in you just don't want the smell in here of like it's a lot of like fried or barbecue food so I, we carry a barbecue and we end up cooking outside the majority of the time um then here's the bed where we sleep um at first i was thinking oh it's gonna be really claustrophobic but it's it really warm and cozy up here um and we were gonna get it where you can get the bed to drop down onto the garage um but we decided not to in the end um just because it was quite expensive to do all of these are storage in there clothes and stuff um oh, and then we've got the skylight right above where we put our heads and we can see down onto mia um and yeah this is the king size bed here and then just view wise let me show you down here and then mia would just be there so we can always see her um yeah that's current layout with a crib and then i'm just going to show you through this door the most important one i thought nico could show you through the most important door can't you Nico? ready go on then show them your room oh teddy's coming in too teddy's going in there too no that's not your room that is not your room nico 
That's definitely not your room. Let me go turn the light on in here. So yeah, so we sleep above the garage. Now this is a race van, that's what it's called. So um, it's designed for motorbikes, to house motorbikes. So obviously Shane's bike can fit in here. It can actually fit, fit three motorbikes um, or three plus more giant dogs. Um, so it's a huge space. And um, yeah, this is where the dogs sleep at night. And we've got this little door that goes through into them. I'll just show you. It does have a light in there too. So we keep it all lit up for them. Um, but yeah, that's where they stay at night with some water. Um, or they can also stay in the awning. But I just prefer the motorbike to be out in the awning. <laughs> and the dogs to be secured and locked away with us inside the van. The most valuable possessions obviously go in the safest spot. So yeah, so that's there. That's their room, basically. They get the, the majority of the space in the van is the garage, and that's what they get. But it's perfect. A race van is perfect when you've got big dogs like us. Um, we should move the ladder back. So, yeah, that is our camper van tour. I think I've shown you the most exciting stuff. Turn the lights off now. I need to have them on. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, let us know. But, yeah, this is called a race van if you're interested in this sort of layout but you can get some that have a lower bed and a table at the back as opposed to what we've got but we just wanted a way to keep the dog separate because we have a baby when she's older i don't think it'll be as needed but when she's in her crib and sleeping and we're asleep up there it's just easier to have them all separate so guys this is the awning um this is where we spend most of the time in the evenings once me is asleep we shut her in the van which is all fully heated um, obviously you can see the motorbikes being kicked out here. The dogs are sat out here with us. We've got lighting and everything out here, heating. Um, and yeah, this is where we'll chill in the evenings, bit of privacy. Um, and yeah, just time to relax whilst we're in. I was thinking about getting a little mat for out here, um, just to have something rather than grass. But it's, it's really handy because it's, I think it's about four metres, four and a half metres by six or seven metres. So it's a huge amount of space, which is great. Um, and it just gives us a bit of, chill time outside um and we get to spend more time with the dogs um and yeah oh and the only other thing i think i forgot to mention is the van is solar powered so we've got panels on top of the roof um and that's how we get all of our power for everything and i thought i'd also show you this so this is the awning as we're taking it down but what we can do and what we often do when we're just camping up overnight is we won't put the full tent sides on we'll just leave it like this an open space and um, we're just taking the final side off but it just gives a bit of rain cover certainly in the uk when it's always raining it's needed and yeah that is our camper van tour i hope you guys enjoyed phil just come to say goodbye to you all um and we'll oh <laughs> phil we'll see you in the next one